Creating a geosphere parameters rollout. So let's go up and create a geosphere in our command panel. You see down in a parameters panel here, uh, we have basically the radius, how many segments uh, that we can use, the, or divisions, and then we have the geodesic type. By default, we have an IC, ISO. An ISO is a 20 sided polygon in equilateral triangles. We also have an octa, um, which will have eight sided, uh, an eight sided polygon. Uh, it will have octagons and triangular faces. And we have a tetra, and the tetra is four sided uh, polygons and in um, triangular faces so it really 28 and 4 so these are basically smoother right and so I can come in here and let's make something that's not quite as smooth let's go with a tetra um, and a tetra then comes in and it'll ask us the same procedures and you can see right off the bat it's up here in the pink. It doesn't have as many divisions as the others do, right? These had 20. These are down the four divisions, right? So it's not quite as uh, smooth. If I go to an octra, uh, and this creates an, uh, from an octahedron, right? Uh, then I can come out here. You see it's a little smoother but not as smooth as our ISO. So also I can turn the smooth button on and off. And when I do that, it creates a faceted one. I can turn that back on generally. If I have a hemisphere, it'll create a um, half a geosphere. And, uh, and also I still have the base to pivot, uh, which will shift the pivot point of the geosphere to the base. And so, uh, this is our parameters rollout here of our geosphere object type in our standard primitives.